Alright, let's get the camera on me here. Ah, oh, my goodness. Get away from these other people here. Um, I'm Jennifer McCreeth. It is Saturday, January 26, 2013. Happy birthday, Wayne Gretzky, by the way. Um, Burton's Pond, St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, major, major news story broke uh, last night on all of our major news networks. Uh, the university folks here have put up a sign that says, Do not feed these ducks, please. Um, <clears throat> people have actually followed that sign, and these ducks are now starving. They are domesticated animals. Um, there's even been a report that they've been tampered with by the university. They've had wings clipped. They've had uh, metal plates fastened to them. So they are they're not really grown animals anymore. They've been grounded here, literally. And... Now the university wants to starve them. Um, obviously, there's public outcry. And uh, first of all, let's take a closer look at this uh, water, oceans, ponds, lakes. Nobody owns those. Um, they're public domain. They can be regulated, I believe, by the federal government. But uh, no person or organization has any right to refuse or intimidate or tell somebody not to use a waterway. Um, with that in mind, many folks are ignoring the sign and they are coming right out onto the pond, which is now frozen for the most part, and enjoying the wildlife. Um, not really wildlife, though, domesticated uh, life. Um, as has been well documented, I come out here all the time. I've lived in this town for six years. And I enjoy these dogs. Um, I haven't been by as much, mostly because of my ankle injury has prevented me from opportunity to run around the city as much, uh, but I'm out here again today. Um, as you saw, there's other people feeding the ducks now. There's tons of food available. Um, I'm calling shame on Memorial University. It's bad enough that you're going to um, damage. That's another part of the story. They damaged this pond. They got permission, illegal permission, from the city to dig in the pond and erect a, a huge uh, concrete barrier. Um, they've actually excavated about 60 feet of this pond. Now they're, now they're uh, interfering with the animals, uh, assaulting the animals, uh, cutting off body parts of these animals, and now they're trying to uh, starve the animals. Totally ridiculous, uh, uncalled for. Um, I'm going to make noise about this as I am here today. You got a problem with the animals? Why don't you come and try and do something about it? Um, I'd love to see that. Um, I've uh, also uh, been a part of creating uh, Newfoundland Animal Appreciation Society, uh, facebook.com slash group slash Newfoundland AAS. Um, it's time to put together a team of people to fight animal abuse um, of all animals, uh, ducks, cats, dogs. Um, there's a lot of problems going on in this city with animal abuse. It's disgusting, and it's time to take action. Um, so yeah, I just want to come out here and uh, <coughs> demonstrate that... Uh, just because people that run Memorial University might be heartless, cruel, vile, vicious individuals, that uh, we, the Newfoundland people, are not supporting that. And we're not going to put up with it. Um, so, one, you can take the duck signs, go feed your duck signs, and uh, put it where the sun don't shine. And uh, the smear campaign is going to start, Mun. Um, we're going to be denouncing you to the world as a bad university who abuses animals. Until you take these signs down. If you don't like it, uh, 
get in touch info at jennifermcreeth.com or you can post a comment right on this video anyway enough talking time to feed the ducks <laughs> Look at that. Someone I know indicated they were dropping off over 100 pounds of bird feed. Looks like they have done so. There's residue of it here on the rocks. These ducks have been well fed to the point that they're not rushing over to eat anymore. So it's great to know that these animals are not going to starve. Apparently we've already lost three or four of them uh, who died due to starvation. And uh, biology profs even Mun's own biology profs are speaking out against their own school, the facilities management people. They think that by not feeding ducks, they'll get rid of rats who have apparently infested that building over there. And that's another story. We've got a daycare center, a little kid. There's rat poison in there. You might not want your kids going anywhere near that building to parents because there is rat poison. I don't think you want your kids eating rat poison. Some people are just really stupid, aren't they? Anyway, let's throw a little bit more seed out here and see what we can do. See if they like that. I'm just looking around for some of my favorite ducks. I've, there's certain ones that have been here as long as I have, if not longer, who I've literally watched grow old, I guess we'll say. Ducks can live to be up to about 10 years old. <coughs> um, some of these ducks I recognize. It's hard to tell because of the wide camera, but I'm trying to zoom in on one that was... I remember watching it the day after it was born. Um, four years old, some of these ducks. Um, yeah, there's other animals here. I think they're called widgets. Um, as far as the wick wing clipping, um, I've never actually noticed that. Um, I have seen, I've actually had ducks climb right up on my lap to the point where I can hold them and cuddle them. Um, they do fly away though. Um, but. If there are ducks here who've had their wings removed, then that's absolutely ridiculous, unnecessary animal abuse. And uh, criminal charges perhaps should be investigated. There's some more seeds for you there. There we go. There we are. They're going to sink, aren't they? Whoa, I just sunk through it. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going on seven and a half minutes. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Jennifer McCree. There's me. Check out my blog, uh, jennifermccreeth.blogspot.ca. I've uh, blogged about this extensively this week. And do check out that Facebook group, um, facebook.com backslash groups backslash Newfoundland AAS. And uh, let's step up to the plate and work together, folks, and take care of these lovely creatures. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great day.